Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It's been an um, interesting day, to say the least. We had been on the Kellen Moore watch. Kellen Moore, well, the Cowboy fans, we're going to get some more. We're going to get a lot more. We're going to get Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore beginning his fourth year as an offensive coordinator. Kellen Moore who went to the Jaguars. He went to Miami. He went to Denver. I believe he went to uh, Minnesota. I believe he went to the Bears. He did the NFL tour for head coaches. He was the hottest candidate out there. And you couldn't argue with Kellen Moore's results the first half of the season. But unfortunately, the race is the whole season. And the Cowboys didn't do as good as we should have. And we had a multitude of problems. Now, I'm not going to put it all on Kellen Moore, but I've said this a couple of times. To me, part of the problem with the offense is, and everybody said Dak Prescott, he needs those guys. The reality is, is this offense needs those guys. It needs to have the people there to work perfect, to work perfect. It's a fact. This is not a team that if you can't overpower the competition, you're not going to run the football. And if you can't run the football, it don't work. We've seen that happen too many times. Not just with Kellen Moore. I'll go back to Scott Linehan. Do you remember when, and, and all or nothing, all or nothing, Okay, you remember when the Cowboys were on that? And we were playing Denver. The coaching staff was just mystified like, we can't run the football. And we got slaughtered. They were befuddled. They didn't know what to do. If you can't run the football with this offense, you will not be successful. Zeke was hurt and is getting up there. The offensive line... I don't want to hear nobody talking about the Great Wall of Dallas. And I'm going to be honest with you, too many times last season, the third best offensive lineman was sitting on the bench in Terrence Steele. He was your second best tackle. In fact, I can almost say when Tyron Smith, the second half of the season, was injured, he was your best tackle. Changed my mind. I hope Kellen Moore is the genius that people have given him credit at being. Because what he's got to do this offseason is by hook or by crook, this offense has to evolve. You cannot do the exact same things that you did before. You must find better spacing for the wide receivers. You must be able to get rid of the ball quicker because of this offensive line. Cannot hold up for long. You don't have time for seven step dropbacks and launching down the field as currently consistent. You have to understand, you need to start getting Zeke Elliott the short passing routes and use that as a long handoff. Because Zeke needs to get the ball in space. He can't just extend his will and just pound his way through the middle like a young man. He is not an every down back anymore. And you have to be able to do things quicker so that way you don't need to have that great blocking skill of Zeke's that you can then use Tony Pollard because he is quicker and can break things open. Now let's make no mistake about it. The Dallas Cowboys, right now, are the pressure cooker. Everybody right now, except for maybe Dan Quinn, is under the gun. Kellen Moore, we know that we've seen things directed at Amari Cooper, which were also directed at Kellen Moore. They didn't come out and say things directly about Kellen Moore's offense. They kind of beat around the bush, or beat around the Cooper, so to speak and let you know we need our playmaker to get the ball. When we pay a guy $22 million a year, 
We expect him to be at least the leading receiver on our team. We expect him to have more than 68 passes. If that's all you're going to do with him, then we don't need him. That's the Cowboys' philosophy right now. If that's all we're getting from him, then we can let him go, Kellen. If you're going to use him and get a $22 million worth of work out of it, that's a different story. But what you've shown us so far is you're not using him enough. And I just look at our team and I ask, I ask on our offense, what is the one good thing that we do? That when shit hits the fan, we know this is going to work. For like the Washington football team back in the day when they were good, for them it was the counter tray. They knew they could always run the counter tray. And they would run that, and then they would run it some more, and they keep running it because they could do it to perfection. With this jack-of-all-trades offense that we have, what is the one thing that you say, we can do that? Back in the 90s, we knew we could just line up man-on-man and run it down your throat with Emmett Smith because our offensive line was that dominant. We just knew. Just knew. Now, I ask you now, what is the one thing that the Dallas Cowboys can do to perfection? I can't say I know what it is. Because it's, I'm going to start calling our offense the jack of all trades and master of none. Because that's what it is right now until something changes. It's the jack of all trades and master of none. And between Kellen Moore and Mike McCarthy, both of your blocks, both of your asses are on the block. It just is. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no excuses that are going to be accepted this year. You have to get your shit together. Jerry Jones realizes 79 years old, he's getting up there, he's getting impatient. Us fans, I ain't getting no younger. We got to see some results. Kellen Moore was good enough that all these teams thought he should be one of, you know, the people that we look at for possibly being our head coach. He was the finalist there in Miami, although Miami's turned into a cesspool. So who knows if that's really, you know, congratulations, uh, Mike McDaniels. Okay, uh, congratulations. You are now in the middle of a volcano. Good luck with that. But people thought highly enough to say, we're going to interview him. We're going to check him out. Maybe he could be the guy. Turned out, they're going to say that guy needs a little more seasoning. So if he wants to be a head coach, here or elsewhere, he's got to prove it. I'm going to say one more thing that you have to also realize, too. We were the number one scoring offense in football. We had more yards than anybody else. The scoring, though, was helped, the points, by our defense, pick sixes, and our special teams that block punts. Although it was also hurt, though, by Greg Zerline missing points, too. So maybe that kind of evens out some of it. Maybe. Our defense helped our offense in a lot of games. They gave us advantages because when you get a takeaway, that's your opportunity where your defense is not ready to go against you. You get out there and you can, because the dudes are over there drinking some Gatorade and all of a sudden defense, now he's got to run out of the field and he's not expecting to play because they just got off the field. So the numbers could be a little bit skewed. The injuries and the age hurt our offense going down the stretch. And the Cowboys have to address those issues 
we can't be saying we're going to rely on Tyron Smith knowing that he's going to probably miss half the season. It's not a recipe for winning. We can't rely on Tyler Baddish, who probably had more false starts as a center. We can't rely on Connor Williams, who is the flag magnet. We just can't. Not if we think that we're going to be a Super Bowl team. All right, good people. It's been a long day. Got lots of work to do. I'm happy about the work I got to do. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you. But right now, I'm going to go to bed. God willing, I'll be here tomorrow. And I can do my best. To leave my mark on this planet. Hope you had a great weekend. And boy, was that an exciting Pro Bowl. Oh my God. It was so exciting. It was, I was on the edge of my seat. Oh my God, it was so good. Can we run it back again? Maybe they've got a rebroadcast of it. All right.